Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we are looking at a Letheon Vileplume GX deck. Um, the reason I wanted to play this deck was because I tried it out in Standard um, and the deck just sucked. I, I literally played for like maybe like a good two hours with the deck trying to get some good games. But the standard version of this deck is not very good. I'll say that right now. It was really hard to play. It just kind of sucked. And it got bodied by every tag team deck I ran into. So, like, the standard version of this deck wasn't very good. However, in Expanded, you have a lot more to work with thanks to DC. I think DC makes all the difference. Just being able to use Leafy on with DC is really, really good. But this is the uh, ver the deck I am playing. The whole idea of the deck is the insane amount of healing you can do with Leafy on GX. You can use Breath of Leaves, healing 50. And if you combo Vileplume GX with it, you're healing an extra 30 on top of that. If you have three Vileplumes in play, you're healing 90 damage. You're healing 140 a turn with Breath of Leaves and a bunch of plumes. On top of that, you also have cards like um, Mallow and Lana, Gardenia to also help heal. You have Life Force. So there's just so much healing you can do with this deck. It's actually crazy. So for again the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Captain TCG. As always, guys, you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes. If you're still trying to get uh, Cosmic Eclipse codes, Unify Minds codes, or maybe you're trying to get yourself on Broken Bonds codes, get them over at Card Captain TCG. You can get all the other PDCGO codes you're hopefully looking for over there too, uh, like GX codes or elite trainer boss codes or sleeve codes or any other codes you're ever looking for if you get anything from kirk cabin guys make sure you use my discount code code ldf the checkout for a five percent discount in your order it will support the channel it'll help yourself out helps out kirk cabin so yeah shout out to our sponsor kirk cabin tcg make sure to check them out guys now let's look at our list here so it's a pretty interesting archetype um how good is an expanded really i don't know um i feel like there's enough lock decks and expanded that might make this deck kind of hard to play uh garboda and power plane are both issues for vile plume also um, that is an issue. Obviously, they can use Power Plant to shut off your abilities on both Leafeon and Vileplume. Another nice thing about the expanded version of this deck is you have Energy Evolution Eevee to go straight into Leafeon, so that's also really good. Um, we are going to be playing Vaporeon. Uh, this gives your Leafeon 260 HP, which makes it even more bulkier. Um, and also, we got our little Vileplume. Since Vileplume is such a monster and expanded, we're actually not going to be playing the Item Lock Vileplume because I don't think the Item Lock Vileplume really suits this deck that well. We don't need it. Instead, we're going to be playing the Disgusting Pollen Vileplume because this card is extremely powerful and expanded right now because there's a lot of big basic decks. Not many decks have a single answer to this card except for maybe like Dark Box with Weavile. So some decks have no way to stop Vileplume and Vileplume just walls them completely and we can get this guy into play with Grand Bloom a lot easier. So yeah, that's why that's in there. Now just one tap of Lele. Uh, we don't really have the best Keldeo counter other than this Vileplume. So I guess there's that, but I, we won't run to Keldeo because we have Guzma. Um, one of the items now, we got our Comp Search. We got a Blower. I would consider more Blowers to counter Power Plant and Floatstone. I don't know what I would take out though. Uh, maybe a netball. We do play three of these along with one Pokecom and one Ultra. The reason behind all Pokecom is if we have like a Gloom or a Vaporeon in our hand, we can Pokecom them back into the deck. It's just a better way to, you know, pull off a better Grand Bloom. We got Rod. I like Rod more than when Stretcher because we just get back a basic Grass Energy, which is sometimes better than Stretcher in my opinion. So I've actually instead, you know, we got seven Grass. So I've just gone with Super Rod instead. Um, I only have one Life Force. I don't know what other stadium we could really put in here. Um, like there's not much I could really think of. So I just went with Life Forest. I want to play more stadiums, but at the same time, we can also bump up the blower count to like two or three. Uh, I am playing two Bridgets. Bridget is really good. Just You can Bridget for like three Oddish or two Oddish, two Eevees, or two Oddish, one Eevee, or whatever you want to do, or just three Oddish in general. Alongside Netball, it's really good. And I have the Lele, but the two Bridget is nice. I like having the two because German Bridget is really important in this deck because when you do Grand Bloom, you want to have at least, at the minimum, three Pokemon on your bench to Grand Bloom too. At the minimum, you want to have three of them, right? So... Just having two bridges is better because you prize one, then you have one in the deck. Two also means you have higher odds of maybe starting with it. Uh, it's typical supporters. I have a few heals like Gardenia and of course Malolana. And uh, we got some draw supporters. Chorus is good because we all have a full bench a lot of the time. Only one choice band. I would consider two. Choice band's really good though against Zoark. It allows your Vile Plume to actually do 210 damage with full HP against Zoark GX, which will allow you to one shot Zoark. So that's why the choice band is pretty much in here. It's literally just for Vile Plume. Um, I got two floats, three DCs, and seven grass. And that's one of the things I liked about the expanded build of this deck is we can use DC uh, with Leafeon, which makes it attack even easier. Because instead of relying on just attaching grass or playing some clunky welder build in standard, this deck plays better with DC. So let's go show it off and see if we can troll some people with all the healing we can do. Okay, right, guys, we're going to the first game here. Um, we're going to start with an Eevee here. 
We have that turn on Bridget. Not much else going on in our hand, though, which is kind of annoying. We don't have any supporters or anything, which sucks. And my opponent starts with a Manetric of all cards. Okay, then. Sure. We're gonna go double Oddish and Eevee. We're gonna go Energy Evolution and pray that we have our little thing in the deck. We do. We had it in our hand, obviously, but this thing's out the deck. And then we just pass until we pray that we draw into one of our outs here. Because we do obviously need to get a supporter in a few turns. But we can definitely go for Breath of the Leaves. Though I would like to get more Oddishes in play. There's a Stadium Nav and they do get some heads. They could have actually knocked out the Salt Laser. I wasn't considering that. Okay, they aren't actually going to get the Thunder Mountain then. Never mind. There's a Sycamore. So they're playing a Mega Man deck. Ooh, they already lose two though. That's pretty good. We'll see what kind of Mega Man deck this is. It might just be Mega Manetric by itself. They might be playing Pika though. We'll see. What do we draw? Nice. We really needed that. We can get Cynthia here. Seems like the best card to get. Um, how much HP does Mega Manetric have? 210. So Viapum can one-shot Mega Manetric. So I'm going to float stone the Eevee on the bench. We're going to need that for Vaporeon. Well, Cynthia. Okay, nice. I was like, okay, we want to get another uh, Oddish in play. So we won't be needing the Leafeon. Or the, the Leafeon, what am I saying? We won't be needing the... Um, cannot think... We won't be needing the Vile Plume with Disgusting Pollen. That's what I was trying to say. I say all this as we have a nice little green background. Um, okay. So we'll get Vaporeon in play. Hopefully we didn't price too many Glooms. We did not. Nice. We got a nice three package of Glooms here. This is looking pretty lit. So the Vaporeon gives us the extra HP. The Glooms are going to let us go Vile Plume. And I think if we just set up a bunch of Vile Plumes here, we're going to be good. And Vile Plume with a Choice Band can one-shot Mega Manetric. That's why I was looking at Mega Manetric's health. Because we can actually one-shot Mega Manetric here with Vile Plume, which is pretty good. And there's a Spirit Link, so they can hit me here for 110. But they are down two Manetrics, which is nice. So maybe they don't have a Mega Manetric. Okay, Volkner will get him there. That can get him a uh, Rescue Stretcher. So one of the things I guess we got to consider here is them possibly playing um, Electro Power. That will help them reach high numbers with Mega Manetric too. I haven't looked at Mega Manetric in forever. I remember I used to play a lot of Mega Manetric Eveltal back in the day. Mega Manetric was so fun. I, it used to be my favorite card ever back in the day. Mega Manetric was so fun. But unfortunately, it just kind of fell off in good popularity because it's not that good anymore. All right, we can breath the leaves. Pretty much denying him knocking me out here unless he has mega turbo or might make electro power right, let's see if we can take a peek at his little hand here even benching something would be nice so we can play chorus nope okay i think we'll float the lele and we'll go for chorus i was thinking about floating the leafeon but i don't want to because yeah okay, i was like okay we can get vile plume choice band that's ideal but we do of course get two different vile plumes oh why why didn't i have all that gloom Dude, I was thinking I need the ability still. Oh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll live. We can just go here. I was, that was a misplay. I forgot to evolve this. I was thinking I needed the ability still, but like, yeah, I completely forgot. All right, we're passing. We're healing a lot of damage. And we get three Vile Plumes in play. This thing's actually doing zero damage to me, I think. Because we're already healing 80 a turn. 100. Oh, no, we're healing all the damage he does. So this Mega Manetric is doing zero damage to me right now. That is insane. See, when I tried this in standard, the deck was slow, it flopped, it sucked, and yeah, he concedes. There you go. Concedes the match. And, okay, so we had a little Raichu, which could have been an issue. Looks like he didn't have any Electro Powers in the deck. Alright, nice, there you go. That was pretty insane. Once again, guys, you get so many Vile Plumes in play, and the opponent is like, oh no, they have way too much healing on their end. What can we do? What can we do? Okay, we're getting closer to these two Cosmic Clips packs. Once again, I'm not going to be buying any packs from the shop anymore until Sword and Shield comes out. Sword and Shield is just such a good set that, like, I think it's worth it to, like, save up, like, 15,000 coins. And new set means uh, new cool stuff to come out. It's an entirely new generation set, so it's going to be pretty cool 
to uh, open up I think like I'm gonna try to aim for like 15,000 20,000 coins if I can we're up against red MV here they're playing a dragon psychic deck okay I've seen that name before I have seen that name I don't know if it was on pubs or if my friends list but that is a very familiar name that that name rings a bell okay we go first I think we'll take it. I, I, I want to go second because we can guarantee the turn one Grand Bloom. But I might not even get the turn one Grand Bloom. So it might not be worth it. So I think it's best to go second here. Which is cool beans. But uh, we'll see what my opponent's going to be playing. They have Dragon. It could be a Tina Chomp Malamar deck. Tina Chomp could be a little annoying to deal with. GGN is kind of scary. Maybe they're playing ADP with something too. I'll have to find out. We didn't put Ranger in this deck, actually. It's probably a good idea to put that in here. Probably be a good idea to play Ranger in here, but you know what? I forgot. This is how it is. I don't know what I would take the Ranger out for, though. Maybe a Netball? I don't know. That's a tough decision. I don't know what I would take uh, out for a Ranger, but I think we do need a Ranger. Every expanded deck should be playing one Pokemon Ranger now. We do get the Eevee start. Okay, now I do wish I went second. Because we would have had the turn one Grand Balloon. But that's fine though. We can still get the Leafy on in play. We can still set up here pretty well. We'll probably just go for Juniper. We can get a few Oddishes down. It's all good. We'll see what they're playing. They could be playing... They could be playing Alternate Necrozma. Oh yeah, I forgot that deck existed. Is Alternate Necrozma a good matchup for us? Probably not. Probably not, if I'm being honest with you. Probably not. And I just dropped my lid. Awesome. I don't even know where it went. It's, it's like, it's kind of dark in my room. Okay, maybe they're not playing Ultra Cosmo because I don't think Ultra Cosmo would play Shaman. Maybe it would. I don't know. But why, what would Shaman do in Ultra Cosmo in a deck that shuts up abilities? So we can actually just bridge it here. Which I feel fine with doing. We just bridge it. Get rid of these two. The problem is that they are playing Garboder. We aren't going to be able to use Vileplume's ability, but that is one of the downsides of playing an ability-based deck in Standard nowadays. Is you just can't use your ability. Yeah, I wish I went second. Whoop, whoop they do whatever. Probably should have, though, because they can attack. Oh, they're actually getting Seed. Maybe this Leafeon deck is just so busted it causes people to concede. Oh, no. Haha, -ha, that's two concedes in a row. Haha. -ha. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute with another game. I got to find my water bottle lid. Okay, guys, I found my water bottle. I need to put that on because I don't want to spill water all over my uh, little setup and uh, kind of blow because I, I, I have a power circuit or a power bar or whatever those things are called. They plug in multiple things. I don't know. I just don't want to get water on that. You know, that would be really, really bad. Um, okay, so we're up against the Psychic Dex. Could be Malamar. It could be something else. Um, but we can take him down. And that is going to be the goal is to take him down. Maybe I should just... Because I'm using the most ghetto way to have lights flash in my room. I'm using a YouTube video on my PlayStation, on my TV, to project these lights. That is how my little light setup is right now. Instead of buying LED lights, I could do this instead. Um, ooh, pretty good start. Double Oddish is always good. Um, but maybe I should just have the background be green, because we're playing a grass deck. So it makes sense if my background state is green. I don't really know. But this, this deck is too intimidating. People are just auto-conceding. So that's a good sign. See what they're playing. What the? They're playing some kind of sleep deck, I think. From the looks of it. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna end, hope to find an energy. Some more Oddishes, maybe. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I'm just gonna go triple Oddish. Uh, I could Pokecom for the fourth, but we can get the Vileplume play early, which I actually think is pretty useful. So I think I'm not going to get a third Oddish. I'm fine with just going triple Gloom here. That works for me. That works for me, Chief. Triple Gloom. Let's do it. Because I doubt we're going to need the, um, the what's-his-face, the Disgusting Pollen Vileplume. So... I think just three Vileplume GX is fine. I maybe could have gotten like another Eevee, obviously, to get Vaporeon, but I don't know what my opponent's playing, so there's no like real threat on the board right now. 
There's an Evo Soda. If they evolve the Ghastly, they won't get their ability. So I don't know if they're going to evolve it or not. Okay, no, they're going to get a Hypno in play. What does this thing do? You may leave both active Pokemon asleep. Good night, babies. I forgot this card existed. That is the best ability ever printed. Oh, a Summoning Forest. That's actually pretty bad. We do have Life Force, though, which is good. And we stay asleep. That's a yikes. We have limited ways to move, too. We have Malolana. Gardena doesn't remove special conditions, so it doesn't. I guess we can use Life Force to, like, remove special conditions, too. I guess that is an option. There's the Malolana. Right, let's go for Irresistible Roma to get their hand. Countercatcher, Recycle Energy, Slumbering Forest. Okay. What does this thing do? If this Pokemon remains asleep. Oh, okay. Interesting combo. Using Hypno to put yourself asleep. No, we wake up when we are going to get put back to sleep. Bruh. Kind of wish I played more stadiums in here. Um, we can mount Lana and Ultra Ball for Eevee and Retreat, I guess. Actually, no, Eevee has a two retreat cost. I guess we have to get Oddish. But we're not going to say to get Ghastly in play. I think we just need to try to counter the stadium. That's pretty bad. I right, mean, Chorus. Can we get a Field Blower? We do. I guess we can't play that, though. Hmm. We could play it now. Did I? Wait. Why can't I do my ability? Well, I guess because this bench is full, I can't play Gloom's ability. Interesting. Um. We know we had a Recycle Energy, a Counter Catcher, and another card that I couldn't tell. Right, you know what? Oh, we had another Summoning Force, so didn't he? Oh no, I'm kind of wasting this Field Blower then, aren't I? Yeah, I think I'm wasting the Field Blower here. So I think he has another Forest in his hand. Hmm. Yeah, it's not great. He does. So we need to find our life force then. Or wake up. That works too. Can knock out the ghastly. Even though he's going to set up a Gengar, we don't really care because all of our heals we have. Just going to burn this, I think. Life force is in the deck, right? Okay, good. And we still have a few switches. We should be fine, honestly, if we can just keep switching every turn. Because we have Guzma, Malolana. That's two switches. Plus, we, we got four via Seekers. And on top of that, we have a Life Forest. And we might even just get lucky every now and then. So, I think we'll be okay to win this game. He's doing, like, no damage to me. So, like, literally, there's no threat. We just have to make sure we're always not being asleep. But we can just keep bringing in Vile Plume. Or we can swap between Leafeons. That's another option. I think we'll just swap between the Leafeons here. We should we should be fine though. We can also just get lucky with Summoning Force. Then again, he's doing zero damage because we have Vile Plume in play anyway. So I don't really see how he can win. There's no way to get his Stadiums back either because Lusamine is banned. So it's not like he could just Lusamine. Yeah, so I think we'll be okay. We just have to make sure we're always taking knockouts. That shouldn't be too hard to do. We have enough switches. We have a few good healing out Life Force. Not only will wake us up, but it'll also count the Stadium. So things are looking good. Okay. Ooh, he wakes up. That's actually pretty good, so we can't do, uh, drowsing. Let's do this. So we can Lele here for the Mallow and Lana, and then knock him out Vile Plume, which seems like a good idea. I think we'll just get rid of these two guys. Get ourselves our Lele. Let's take a look at his hand first. If we can. No, never mind. Okay, we know he has Recycle Energy and a Counter Catcher in there. We know that much. So we gotta be a little careful with our energy conservation. We could Guzma knock out the Hypno. That seems like a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's knock out that Hypno. I mean, he has another Drowsy in play, but we got rid of the Recycling Star, so he doesn't have that anymore, so. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of that little Hypno. We have two Via Seegers, so we can just keep doing Guzma here. He's definitely gonna counter catcher me, I think. He might counter catcher the other Plume. Let's see what our prize is. Vaporeon, don't really need that. I don't think that any of our prizes can help us, though, to be honest, unless it's energy. Everything else, though, is kind of irrelevant, I think. Everything else is pretty irrelevant. 
Yep, there's counter. Yeah, he's bringing in the plume. Saw that coming. See if he has another hypno. No, he doesn't. He's gonna go for a snooze. And he can put six on me, which does zero damage thanks to our ability. <laughs> the game just is like, here, just take the VS Seekers, bro. Just, just take the VS Seekers. <laughs> I kind of feel bad with my opponent, but this is the power of the healing and everything, man. Like, all the healing this deck can do is insane. Um, okay, so we can keep stalling me, but the game just fed me all of our few seekers at once. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I really do feel bad. I'm gonna keep taking out those drowsies, obviously, so we can't get Hypno back in play. I guess we didn't need to play that. No, we know we had it right. We can move, right, Derp? Let's see what our prize is. Yeah, the game just wants to give me my VSC. <laughs> Yo, I actually feel so bad for my man right now. I actually feel so bad for my guy. Oh my gosh. The game is literally just feeding me the Guzmas. That is insane. That's actually insane. And again, he's doing no damage either. He's doing zero damage to me. There's Life Forest. Eh, we're not going to play that just yet, though, I don't think. We don't need to. We don't need to. I think we're fine. So we know he has one more uh, Gust Effect here. We know he has one Lysander in his hand. He's going to bring in that Ditto. Keep, again, making sure he can't get Hypno in play. Let's go over Visible Roma. Yeah, he has an Energy and a Lysander. So he's not really working with much. But, I mean, hey, I'd be pretty mad if I was, if I was my opponent, too, because... This is kind of insane. The game is literally just feeding me every out possible to getting out of these spots he's putting me in. Like, I actually do feel pretty bad, but at the same time, I don't. Because our deck is kind of built, I think, to beat his, except we just needed a few more heals. But there's nothing really he can do. Yep, there's Lysander. We'll see what he top decked. He needs to draw something soon to, like, get him out of the spot he's in. He's going to go for another snooze. And he wakes up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, he just concedes. <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. That was actually hilarious. Wow. that The game gave me the best luck I think I could have asked for ever. It just was like, yo, I heard you need the switches. Here you go. Just take them all at once. We're up against a dragon deck here. An all dragon deck, which kind of has me worried that it might be a... Uh, it could be alternate Cosmo with silent lab maybe i don't know it might be a daily evo deck that's actually also what i'm thinking it could be but that matchup was pretty easy you can kind of see just all the healing we can do you just couldn't do anything about it it's too much healing for him to handle and oh wow okay <laughs> thanks for the triple oddish uh not much else to work with here other than bridget and a few switches but thank you for the triple oddish i appreciate it Okay, let's see here what they are going to be playing. It is an alternate Cosma deck. Okay, that's fine. Foresight Lab is interesting. Don't really have many answers to that. We don't play Fabin here. We should probably put that in the deck. We can go Eevee, Eevee, Oddish. And pass. So he'll probably knock me out, but our hand's pretty busted. I'll probably just... Juniper, I don't really want to play lately, but I also need the Super Rod, though. He's always going to be able to get rid of my energy. I think we have to attack him with a Vile Plume. This matchup might be a little bit harder. Oh, no, 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 Double Dragon Energy. Okay. Okay, then. He doesn't play Double Dragon Energy. You don't have to worry about that. Top deck Cynthia. Okay, good. Kind of wish I drew an energy, though, so we can just do Guzma with this works, too. Okay, we didn't get a switching card. Uh, we could Stinky send him, which I actually am down to do, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm actually down to do that. We might as well just troll him. And then we can go Vile Plume next turn and knock him out, maybe. Yeah, I might as well troll him. Just be like, hey, Stinky sent. What can you do about it? Nothing. Doesn't really seem to be playing a very good build of Alternate Cosmet, though. Got no Double Dragons, no Garboder, no other Pokemon. Alright, let's go this, get Cynthia. Might as well DC, just so we can get a Vile Plume. We hopefully won't whiff Vile Plume here. We have so many ways to find it. Oh, we did whiff it, wow. 
Okay. That's fine, though. I don't think he's really threatening me right now. Not getting Vileplume there is not ideal, though. That is for sure. We had Pokecom, Ultra Ball, whatever. We can actually just throw Disgusting Pollen in his face. I completely forgot that's an option, too. Okay. Forget Vileplume GX. We just slam the Vileplume in the active with Disgusting Pollen. And we win. Okay. That works, too. All right, let's see. Does he have a switch and a sound lab? Nope, just a pass. Cool. And it's in the deck, right? So all we need to do is just not whiff it. He can possibly attack me next turn too, so we definitely need to make sure we hit this. Come on. We, we have so many ways to find it. Nice, we got it. Got him. <laughs> and we just get the file plume. And because he doesn't play Garboder, he has no way to stop this. And we just down her shock. And that's pretty much all she wrote. This is why this Vile Plume is so good right now in the expanded format. This thing and Pyroar, in my opinion, are busted. Pyroar is a little underrated because this card obviously gets more hype because it's good with Egg Row, But Pyroar, in my opinion, is also a severely underrated card because Pyroar has a very good ability that is on a stage one, not a stage two. And it's got more versatility in that regards. I don't think we need to do much. He can't attack, so he can't even get use out of Luster Downfall. It doesn't even matter. Like, we pretty much just win at this point. Like, this thing can literally win us the game. He's got, like, no outs to it. Unless he plays, like, something crazy like Garchomp or some other stage 1, stage 2 dragon attacker. But if not, we're just gonna go Vileplume for days. I mean, he could always Lysander knock stuff out, but... I think we could take all our prizes by the time he takes all his, all his prizes. Especially with Malon in our hand. We're chilling. Plus, we can... Slap the Vile Plume GX in play, which I'm not going to do just yet. There's a reason why I haven't evolved it yet, because I don't think I want to. Alright. He can attack me. Let's see what he does. He's stuck. I, I don't think he can win, unless he has, like, Lysander or Guzma in his hand. He can play all the energy lottos he wants. He's getting punished, though, for not having any out to Vile Plume. He Field Blower Zone a lab away. He just gave up. He's like, okay, I'm not even going to bother attacking. Yeah, he concedes. Oh my gosh, disgusting. Ballin is disgusting. The memes are real. <laughs> uh, this deck is actually kind of busted and expanded. Not so much in standard, but in expanded, this deck actually seems to be kind of cool. All right, guys, let's do some more games with the deck. And <laughs> the deck is working pretty well. We're, I think we're trolling people pretty well. I would say so anyways. We... Got our good games. And it looks like we're up against Gardevoir GX here. That's going to be an interesting match. This is one of those games I think where Vileplume GX might be really useful. Because two energy would be a lot easier for us. Because if they just, you know, DC and Grass Energy on Leafeon. It makes it a lot easier for them to knock out my Leafeon with their Gardevoir. So it might be best to attack with Vileplume here. We are going to start with a Lone Oddish. Which is fine. Not really. Unless we could draw Bridget. No, we drew an Eevee. That works. I will end them. See what we're getting here. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> More Oddish. I'll take it. We did get Bridget. We can't really take advantage of that, though. So I could retreat. I wouldn't mind getting the uh, Float Stone on this guy. I don't want, I really want to waste the energy. I guess we can Ultra Ball for Lele next turn. Discard our top deck. And then get like a Guzma and then maybe like bring something up that they might bench. Like if they do bench like maybe an Oranguru here. I don't mind that either. But at the same time, I do probably want to end them in case they do go for... You know what? I'm just going to go Energy Evolution. I want to end them because they're probably playing a Lulun Vulpix. So we want to disrupt their Lulun Vulpix as much as possible. So I think we will just... We'll wait... We can always just retreat next turn, or maybe just get a uh, float stone, which I'd much rather just float the Oddish instead of retreating energy. This is also why I like having the Super Rod, right? Because you sometimes do have to retreat one energy into EV. Yep, there's the Vulpix. They have Sylveon too, so that's a good thing I got in. Sylveon could be kind of annoying if they reset some of my Vile Plumes. That's kind of an issue. And they're actually going to go with the EV. And they're going to pass. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, I think, just for Juniper. I'm just going to Ultra Ball for Juniper here. I'm not going to end them. They have four cards. Oh, 
I had a heart attack. I didn't see Lele. I was like, oh no. Did we prize our Lele? Oh, but we didn't. Alright. Yeah, well, Lele for Juni. And then we'll just try to retreat. If we can't retreat the Oddish, that is going to be really bad, but hopefully we can. Yeah, we didn't get the float. Okay, we didn't get any glooms, though, which is also pretty good. I was kind of worried we'd hit gloom. We did get an N for next turn. That's an issue. We didn't even get a DC either. But we can get a bunch of glooms into play. <laughs> we get the whole squad going. The Juniper didn't really give us the best hand, though. But as you can see, Grand Bloom GX is pretty good. Getting all our boys down. They could plea at some point, though, to reset everything. We don't play Rare Candy. We could maybe just throw in one Rare Candy in this deck just in case stuff like that happens. I guess that wouldn't be terrible. Not having an N, though, really does suck. Because we really need to stop Magical Ribbon. Not a fan of not getting N, not gonna lie. Not a fan of that. And not a fan of our hand in general. It's just bad. We have, like, nothing we can really do. Maybe they'll end me. Maybe they'll end me into a better hand. Let's see. No magical ribbon. So we need to get an end here. They're probably gonna get rare candy, Gardevoir. But they could get Ninetales and DCE and Gardevoir. They might not even get Gardevoir because they can Ninetales for Timer Ball. We'll just hope our top deck is good. We'll see though. Okay, we're still in the game. Um, we can take a peek at what they grabbed. Ooh, Wondrous Labyrinth. Okay. It's fine by me. We can counter Life Force. See if we get that DCE. We didn't get the DCE, really? Wow. That kind of sucks. Looks like we're just going to go Triple Vile Plume then, I guess. Yeah, no DC is pretty bad. But we get three Vile Plumes, so we're healing 90. 140 a turn, right? Yeah, 140. We have a good setup here. They're probably going to plea me. That's the only issue. We have via Seeker, so if they just decide Magical Ribbon one more time, we'll just end them, I guess. Yeah, there's Wanderer's Labyrinth. Maybe I just go Juniper instead, because at the same time, I do want to stop them from being able to... Um, we need to get rid of this thing. So I might Juniper instead. No, just a Cynthia. Okay. What are they doing? Did they get a DC for their Guardian? For their Sylveon, sorry. They might just have the Magical Ribbon again. Hmm. Kind of wish I had Chloris in the discard pile, to be honest, because we can get, like eight cards here just more odds of finding that life force is important life force and dc is what we're looking for here and i got a magical ribbon again maybe i should just end them but n is one less card to finding dc and life forest i don't like those odds i guess we should end them because like then worst case scenario we can just put a grass energy on to one of our bile plumes i guess i just got to predict the magical ribbon though it's probably or the the plea gx that's probably what they're gonna do so they're probably going to plea me here, right? So I guess we should just predict it no matter what. I don't know. What do we draw? Oh, we do the DC. All right. So this makes the end a little more better. Just need to get rid of this pesky Wonders Labyrinth. Come on. Life Force. Okay. We got it. Um... We'll get rid of DC and Grass. Might just get rid of the Choice Band. I don't think we need that. I might even keep the DC for Energy Drive. No, we'll just get rid of the DC and the Choice Band. They're just two cards I don't really think we need. Got the Life Force. Kind of a waste of a Life Force, but we desperately need to get rid of this thing, so we're going to do that. I want to keep the two Grass Energies, and I definitely don't want to get rid of the Maulana, because we might be able to play it. Yeah, that was good. Getting rid of their hand and finding the Life Force. It's pretty good. Wish I had more stadiums, though. This is kind of where it would be nice to have maybe just one more stadium. 
They're probably gonna get a knockout with Gardevoir here. It's possible. They would need like energy, triple energy. Again, we have 206 HP. We're pretty bulky. We could go the route of the Glaceon deck I made a video on and put Buddy Building Dumbbells in here too to maybe give you even more HP. That is an option if we want to try that out. Oh, they're not going to get a knockout because they're only going to be putting an energy on, not from their ability, but from an attachment. So we can heal most of the damage they do here. That's pretty good. Okay, they have a Secret Spring. Okay, they didn't have a DC or a triple. That's nice. I guess they are hitting me pretty hard. Of course, they play Center Lady. Yep, of course. I swear, every, like, random bad deck plays, like, five of those. But, like, this guy doesn't... They don't seem to be playing that bad of a deck. Oh, they're doing 210. They're doing way more damage than I thought. Okay, we need to thin. We could Malana, but we're obviously not going to. We're just going to have to heal. We're going to get knocked out next turn, but... It's going to keep healing. They better not center Lady next turn. That would really cheese me. But I guess we can still knock them out with uh, Vileplume, so it's pretty good, actually. So, yeah, we're healing 140. They're still going to get a knockout, though, but... At least we got to heal. This is good because they don't want to attack me with this thing. They know it's going to get knocked out. They might go elite with this guy. But they can't do that because we have enough HP to take a hit. So you can kind of see the Vile Plumes working pretty well. They could plea me here if they want. That would be pretty bad. The Center Lady means we can't knock out the Sylveon if they do plea. But they have four cards. It doesn't matter. Again, if they even the Center Lady, they'll still get knocked out by Vile Plume. They're going to Ace Rolla, but they're going to heal the Sylveon fine by me as long as they don't heal the main attacker, which is Gardevoir. They could have Ace rolla into a plea there. That would have been pretty bad. Maybe they just value their Infinite Force more. Maybe they'll do Infinite Force here even. If they do that, we'll just uh, Malolana switch into Vile Plume. Yeah, maybe they will go Infinite Force. They got five cards. But who knows? Maybe they want to get back everything they just got, pal. Nope, they're just going to knock me out. All right, fine by me. Uh, we were so close to actually not getting knocked out there. If we had a Gardenia or something. But we can knock them out with Vileplume. And Vileplume, being the Vileplume, they might be able to tank a hit. Nice, we can end them. Seems like a good idea to me. Hopefully we can get Super Rod here. That is something we probably need to get back a few energies. No, we did get Gardenia though. That's actually pretty good because we're healing quite a bit. Massive Bloom for the KO. So hopefully that end work. They can still maybe draw an energy into Sylveon, but we have another end in our hand. She'll probably play. I might even Guzma knock out the rolls with Lele. Just so deny him Gardevoir. But at the same time, I don't want to put Vileplume back on my bench for plea. But it looks like they just have the Vi the rare candy. No, they're going to go into Curlia. Maybe they got a bad hand because they would have brought in Eevee, I'm assuming. Wait, what, what? They didn't bring in Eevee. Wait, what are they doing? Bro, what? Why didn't they bring in the Eevee? Okay, not gonna complain, but okay. It's very questionable. Oh, of course they have this thing. Of course that's it. Of course they don't play... Oh my god. Oh, that is gonna be an annoying pest. That just triggered me. We have one answer to it, though. And it's in the deck. All right. Uh, what are we doing? I think we're chorusing. Okay, we got Guzma. There's a rod. All right, we're going to just... Uh, I might want to hold it, though. If Oddish does get knocked out, we won't be able to use the Vile Plume. Kind of sucks I lost Choice Bane now, because now we can't knock out the Sylveon in one hit. Let's check out our prize. Eevee. He's going to bring in the Ninetales. That's fine. Not really, though. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is pretty bad. Uh, we still floats. If we can draw into a float here, I wouldn't mind Guzmane the Sylveon out. Which I can't do. Alright, never mind. It's just irresistible aroma. Hey, oh, we can do that too. We can force stuff on the bench to knock out with Vile Plume. That's actually pretty good too. Um, they don't really have much right now, which I like. Hmm. 
I guess we're just gonna pass then. They just don't really have much, so that's fine. So maybe we can keep the gloom in place so we can keep doing big brain plays like that. But we're obviously just gonna get Vile Plume and smack him with Vile Plume here. We need to find Float though for this guy so we can move this because I don't want to retreat it. We don't have as much energy as we want. Now they're gonna Koga's me, sure. <laughs> doing zero damage. They don't have a DC in their hand unless they top decked it, but I don't think Yankee could. What do we draw? Grass energy. Take a peek at their hand one more time. Ooh, they have Via Seeker though. But they don't have any goo gusting cards, which is good. Alright, let's Ultra Ball away these two. Do watch out for Plea. That is an issue too, right? Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna end them. Screw it. We need, like, a float or something next turn. Okay, Malolana works. Okay, cool. And we have a Grass Energy, too, so we got everything we needed. We deal with this thing, we should be good to win the game. Wish I kept that Choice Band, though, because we really could use that. Just knock out Sylveon. It's whatever, though. If the Vileplume goes down, we can just rot it back in the deck. Oh, we don't have enough energy, though. Maybe not. He did find a DC. If they get a Lysander, I quit. Okay, good. What are they going to get? Cynthia. They could center lady this thing too at some point. <laughs> it's kind of annoying I end them into the Cynthia and the DC. But whatever. We can heal this guy in the background. See what this gives us. Another energy is not bad, I guess. And this is our only way to deal with this pesky Ninetales. We can heal all the damage he does to us, though. That is one thing we have going for us. All the damage this thing does to us gets fully healed, and it can never one-shot us. But it can get knocked out by Gardevoir. That's the only problem, and uh, we've already played a few Gusting cards, so <laughs> not the greatest odds. Hopefully, we can put it to sleep. Perfect. I guess Confuse me better, but... The problem is they have a center lady in their hand, right? They have it. They have their center lady. They're gonna center lady heal this thing, aren't they? But yeah, triple Vileplume can keep us in the game here, but they're gonna center lady. Oh, they're not. They're gonna Cynthia. That's not gonna help them. Unless they play full heal. Yo, if they play something dumb like Big Masalda, if they play Crushing, that's fine. Most random card I've ever seen in a Gardevoir deck, but okay. Ow. I think we're good. I think we got him. I think we hashtag got him. Okay. Whew. The crushing hammer wouldn't have mattered, thankfully, because we had this. There's our float stone. That's always good. We can even just get this guy out of the active spot next turn, which is probably what I'm going to do. And we're going to knock this out. And now we're in the clear to hopefully win the game. Seems good to me. This vile plume is the MVP. And they concede the game. Good riddance. <laughs> That was an insane match. But that'll wrap the day's piece of video, guys, on the Leafeon Vile Plume deck. We had some fun with it. Oh, of course we got. So close. We needed three prizes, which I don't think we'd have gotten. But that'll wrap up the video on this Leafeon Vile Plume. It's a really cool archetype. Um, I think any last minute changes, as usual, I would probably add another stadium. Other than that, this deck was kind of fun to play. It was really cool to just get a bunch of Vile Plume GX in play and just spam the healing every turn. I don't know, by the way, if I'll keep this cool little background color effect. It's only here because I'm recording at night. And there's no like actual good lighting in my room so i was like oh why don't we just do this instead so i don't know if this will stay this will probably come up every now and then so expect the cool background light thing for a few videos every now and then but not all the videos will be some of them i record in the daytime are actually better lighting but out of the video guys if you enjoyed leave a like on the video subscribe down below to help me that we're reaching at six or seven thousand subscribers and check out our sponsor card kevin tcg down below too use code ldf follow me on twitter and bye bye